Top of the morning. Today we are doing Cascade Mountain Trail in Bath National Park. Uh, we started doing this hike at 6 a.m. A little bit chilly. It's about plus 12 degrees. And we got a few signs here. Restricted activity. Berry season. Okay, bear counters are likely. That's uh, reassuring. That's what you want. And no drone today, guys. Isabel wouldn't let me take it. You, you know, can't. I was you thinking, can't. you know, at that summit of Cascade, nice drone shot, but I'll we'll have to save that for another time. We're about halfway up the trail. Just stopped to grab a photo of this gorgeous color coming in. Yeah. Um, yeah. So far, it's just been heavy forest this trail I think it's like that for the first 7k and then a lot of people reviewed it as boring <laughs> yeah if you go on all trails there's a lot of complaints of how boring the first seven kilometers is just walking Are through like trees <laughs> but uh that last four or three or four kilometers no three yeah it would be the last three is uh, supposed to be a scramble not overly difficult but steep Oh wow, there's a beautiful color there as well. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back on this trail and uh, hopefully we can get even better photos. Next time I'm going to start at 2 in the morning. Yes. Two in the top. three kilometers from the summit and now it's getting really steep and now it's kind of more of a scramble gorgeous valley and I can't wait for that sun to peek out through there Whoosh. Coming in, the epic light, beauty. At us, at us while we were walking up. I don't know why. Uh, but uh, if you guys are trekkers or have an interest in trekking, don't yell at other people. They're trying to enjoy the outdoors. Maybe, you know, maybe you'll meet some photographer out there that's trying to concentrate or trying to compose a shot and they're thinking about that and then you have some idiot that's yelling at you. Don't be that guy. Isabel? I mean, it matters, but whatever. I'm gonna keep on moving. It's annoying. I don't like, you know, climbing up. Oh, sorry, by the way. That there, this little ridge here, it's the uh, false summit. Got a nice view there. Yeah, this is the false summit here. The moon, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. Got the moon there. Really gorgeous views. We had a bed. I say, I think I'll. One hour to get up there. Okay, let's take a look here, shall we? It's 10.09. 10.09.
I say we can make it up there in 35 minutes. summit. Summit of Cascade Mountain Trail here in Banff National Park. This awesome view. That's uh, Lake Minnewanka there. There's some clouds coming. You can smell a little hint of smoke so all this you see is not really cloud. There's cloud mixed with smoke. That's a 360 guys. And also Took us 20 minutes to get up here. Oh, Isabel! Hey. Who was right? It's not often when I'm right, but when I am, I gotta savor the moment. This is uh, not an overly hard hike. Um, it's decent. A little bit long. Um, it took us uh, six, four hours, 35 to get up here. And I imagine going down is gonna be pretty darn fast. No, it's not a good idea. I'll tell you why it's not a good idea to cut down a mountain, even if it looks, it looks like it's shorter. When you hit the tree line, you're gonna be going through dead trees, brush. You're gonna be all cut up. Takes forever. Oh yeah. And if there's a cliff, a drop off, then what? Maybe there. All right, I will be logging off because I want to use this GoPro to take a, a time lapse of this. So that'll be at the end of the video and I hope it turns out, it looks beautiful. Take a few photos here, even though it's smoky. But uh, wow, yeah, the clouds are really coming in. Okay guys, Isabel, any uh, last comments, questions, concerns? I'm very hungry though. Okay, we need some clip bars, get this camera set up. Until next week, ciao, ciao.